A while back I made a video on uh, how to cut the index marks in here to make them permanent on these uh, low-cost drill presses. And a friend of mine asked me how did I make sure before I did that that the table was exactly perpendicular to the line of the drill bit. And that's a really good question. Uh, let me show you how to do that. The first step is you make a tool and it's just this bent rod. Let me get it against a good background so you can see it. It's just a bent rod. This one I uh, welded from two pieces of, uh, or to two nails actually. I didn't have the right size stock. Uh, you want something that's uh, very stiff, that doesn't bend. And the only trick is you want this part that goes into the chuck, you want that to be really straight. You don't want it to be corkscrewed or, or bent in any way because it needs to chuck perfectly. So you make a piece like this and this piece has to be from your chuck and it has to be roughly the same size as your uh, table. And that's all there is to that. So that when it's chucked in there, it's touching the table all the way around. Then the next step, with your drill press unplugged, make sure it's unplugged, uh, you put this wire in here, fasten the chuck firmly, and then you simply measure using your feeler gauge the distance in there and then on the other side make sure you get in there square this table is not exactly square front to back but there I've got uh, I've got about uh, 0.178 millimeters on both sides this is still very square from when I made the last video but that's all there is to it. If you're going to do high precision drilling, you know, obviously for most things like wood, whatever, you know, you're going to drill some pilot holes, the index marks at the back of your table will work fine. But when you're going to do something high precision or something that's very tall and you want to make sure that the angle is just perfect, this is a very quick and easy way to do it. So the only tool you need is this stiff metal wire that you make yourself. You can make it in different lengths depending on uh, what you need, but just make sure it uh, gets out near the edges of your table. And that's pretty much it. Hope you found it interesting.